Before we start any of this, it's a good idea to make sure this won't mess with the retail versions of Hammer if you use them. This can be fixed if we go to the control panel, then system and security, then system, and then advanced settings. Another window should open, and then you should press environment variables. You should be able to see the project. If you want a map for the leak, just put the path for the leak, and vice versa for retail. Step one, locate the bin folder. Then scroll to the bottom. You should see wc.exe. Click on it. Then press no or go to tools, options. From here, press edit. Or if you've already tried to set up Hammer before, just make a new one or change your config to look like the one in the video. Click edit, add, then name it something. I'll name it HL2. Next, game data files, add. There should be two here, base and Half-Life2.fgd. Add both of them. Ignore texture format and map type, they're already fine. Next, the game executable directory. This is just your Ananatial 2 folder, or whatever you decided to name it. Select it. Alright, next, the mod directory. Ignore this unless you're making a mod with LeagueNet. For the game directory, set this to your HL2 folder. Next, the VMF directory. Now this one is very important, because this is where your maps are located. You must set this to the maps folder, or else it won't compile. Then go to the build programs tab. Here you will see the game executable. Set this as the hl2.exe. Just ignore CSG, because the beta doesn't have it. For BSP, go to the bin folder, then find vbsp.exe, and select it. For viz, same place, but vviz.exe. rad, vrad.exe. For the compiled map location, you have to set this to the maps folder, or else it just won't work. Then go to the Materials tab. Ignore the lower box, only the top one matters. Click Add, then go to HL2, Materials, then at the very bottom, you should see Null.Wad. Select it, and that's it. Lastly, I want to recommend a few things in the Game Config tab that you set up. Go ahead and set the default point entity to Info Player Start, and for the solid one, make it a Funk Detail. Then, I would recommend setting the default texture scale to 0.25 or 0.25. Both will work. There we go. Now Hammer should be set up. Let's make a simple test map. Select the texture. Just make a big block. Make it hollow and add a player start. Compile the map, name it, and here we go. Now you can make maps for Half-Life 2 Beta.